Hello, kings and queens. It's Wisdom's Daughter. And welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I am still sick. For those of you who saw my short, um, unfortunately, I have COVID. But I am going to do my best to get through this recording. So I apologize in advance if my voice doesn't sound as good. I am going to do my best to hit the mute button anytime I have to cough um, or clear my throat because I know that can be annoying. And I am coughing profusely, y'all. I feel like crap, but there's so much going on and I really need to, to uh, talk about this tea. So it is Relationship Friday, y'all. We're going to be talking about relationships today, okay? And there's one relationship in particular that I want to talk about, and that is with Miss Monica Denise, y'all, all right? So apparently R&B singer has dumped her jail boo and has a new bow, and she says that um, she was heartbroken but that she has learned yet another lesson, okay? So we're going to get all up in Miss Monica's business today. But before we do, <clears throat> there we go with me clearing the throat. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to try to catch it. I'm going to do my best, but y'all got to bear with me, all right? So before we get into Miss Monica's business, okay, let's just talk about a couple of other relationships. So Deion Sanders, he has split from his fiance of 12 years. This is not new news. I'm still trying to figure out why sis was a fiance of 12 years. I don't know what she was holding on for, but anyway. Then we have Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade that done split up, okay, getting a divorce. This is also old news, but I've kind of been waiting for an announcement that, you know, they might be reconciling or working on it, but apparently sis is done i mean he's cheating and gay oh no hold on a second there is a let me take this down there was a video where gabrielle union was kind of talking about the situation you know i got all up in their business being nosy when i heard that Dwayne's uh son was uh, transitioning to female. And I'm probably going to get in trouble with some of y'all, but listen, I have my own opinions, all right? And they may not, they may differ from yours and that's okay. But when I heard that Dwayne Wade was um, supporting his teenage daughter's transition to female, I knew that it was going to be a problem right there. Let me get this up. Hold on a second, y'all. I knew that it was going to be a problem. Let me go on mute for one second. <coughs> All right, let's go ahead and share this screen and turn the volume up. All right. So, yeah, I knew it was going to be a problem then. And I'm surprised, actually, that she was supportive of it, quite supportive. But I, I have some feelings on that. I don't think 13 is old enough. I don't think 14 or 15 is old enough, even 16, for you to determine that you are not the gender that you were born with. And now you're going to go through this whole transition process of nails and hair and makeup and carrying on. I don't agree with that. And there are so many um, people, uh, transgender people who have reversed back who've done things like having their genitals removed or altered or having their um, breasts removed or just things like that, that are irreversible, you know? So let's see what Gabriel Union is talking about because this was all in. The countless, you know, therapists and specialists and trainers and this and the other, we all had to revolve around. You know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, when all my sisters did. Wait, what? Did he just say, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he just say that when he was a kid, he put on dresses and shoes? He went, he went, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, y'all, we, mm -mm, we got to roll this back. We let, mm, wait a minute. The countless, you know, therapists and specialists and trainers and this and the other, we all had to revolve around. You know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear. When all my sisters. He used to put on heels as a kid because whatever his sisters wanted to do, he wanted to do. Okay, I have a lot of male friends that have siblings and not near one of them had any kind of desire 
to put on their sister's high heels. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna leave that one alone. I don't know when he did that interview, but let my husband okay. Let me let me just let's just keep going, y'all. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. See what that looks like. Okay, that's a little better. All right. This was there. I tried to do those things. Everything was cool up front, so they went to the back, and it was a bunch of old and young boys back there. Uh oh. All naked in the Wade house. So according. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did she just young boys naked in the Wade house? Okay. According to the blog, Gabrielle Union is quietly getting ready to serve Dwayne Wade with divorce papers after she allegedly caught him cheating on her. Now, one blind item exposed Dwayne for sneaking around with other women. However, there are also sources who are now claiming that Dwayne cheated on Gabrielle with a man. And while this news may come as a shock to those who thought Gabrielle and Dwayne were relationship goals, those who know the backstory aren't surprised at all, and it looks like they don't have a lot of sympathy for Gabrielle either. Gabrielle apparently hooked up with Dwayne while he was still married to his first wife. And uh, there have also been a uh oh now see that part I didn't know okay because I wasn't as nosy back then as I am now listen my grandmama always said the way you get them is how you're gonna lose them all right so if you get them under bad terms immoral terms you're gonna lose him in an immoral way yeah I don't even know what to say about Gabrielle Union. I knew sis was messed up when uh, she told her husband that even though he makes so much more money than her, that they're going to sp split the bills 50-50, uh, being petty because she's mad because he made a comment about his house. And she's like, you know what? Never again will you be able to say your house because I'm paying half the bills now. Sis, why would you do that? What? Okay, let's move on. Who else we got today? Who else we talking about today? Okay, so yeah, we 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 gonna get into Ashanti's business a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I was on Funky Dineva earlier today. He dropped a video this morning, and listen, y'all keep Funky Dineva in your prayers. He said that this is the time of year when he gets a little depressed because it gets cold and things like that. And I can totally understand that. And depression is real. So we just want to keep him lifted. I like Funky Dineva. Okay. All right. But I want to show you guys something else. So <laughs> Funky Dineva was talking about some relationships and stuff. And I am so for this relationship between Ashanti and Nelly, but Funky Dineva says something that had me dying. Listen to this. Or oh, whatever, and I'm just up, and I got some random relationship stuff that's on my mind, because I had a few cocktails early this morning. I was listening to a lot of soul music and R&B music. And, you know, my sister Monica just ran across my mind talking about she got her heart broke again. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. This white man don't embarrass Tamar talking about she fought for him. Tamar is a hot-ass mess. I'm sorry. She go, she jumped from husband to husband to husband, you know, the way VIPs jump from plane to plane to plane. I can't. And Ashanti waited two decades for a Negro to spin the block and make her baby mama. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Oh, funky Dineva. <laughs> oh, wow. He said, Lord Jesus. He said Ashanti waited 20 years. For a man to spin the block on her just to make her a baby mama. All right, Funky Dineva, you cutting up this morning. I am happy for them. They look happy, but you have made a great point. Um, it it might have been better for her to make sure that this is going to last. Might have been better for him to put a ring on it first. And I am hoping that following this pregnancy, because she looks like she's pretty far along, that uh, wedding bells will be ringing quite soon. Not because she's pregnant. Let me just say that. I do not. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> I do not condone getting married just because you're pregnant. I don't support that. And I'm speaking from personal experience. because That was what my first marriage was like. Okay. 
That is not a good idea. So parents, because a lot of my um, subscribers are uh, mature in age, do not force your sons or your daughters to marry just because they are pregnant. I understand, especially if you grow up in church like I did, that there's a stigma. You don't want them shacking up and this, that, and the third. But I promise you, that is not a good idea. And that's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to get into, I don't want to play all of Funky Dineva because he's probably going to be getting into the same stuff I'm getting into. Uh, and this is as far as I got in his video. So I'm going to go ahead and get back over to the real story that we're going to be talking about today. Okay, hold on. Let me stop sharing. All right. And y'all, I'm trying to figure out a couple things here. But anyway. All right, so let's get over to this Monica business. <clears throat> and you know what? It's possible that all the sniffling I'm doing when I think I'm pressing the mute button, it sounds like y'all are still hearing me. Let me see something here. And I'm so sorry, y'all. I may have to pause this recording in between my sniffles. I know somebody in my comment is going to be like, girl, get better than do your videos. But listen, I had to drop this video, y'all. And I apologize that I have the sniffles and that I sound a hot mess. All right. So first we're going to get into, yeah, let's get into this one first. Okay, there we go. Essence has an article that they put out. But I want to, I want to get into this first. So y'all hang on one second. I got so many tabs open. I don't even know what tab I'm in. And it's not that one. Hang on. Okay. It's this one. Here we go. All right. So Monica says she was heartbroken at the split from C murder. Okay. Um, I learned yet another valuable lesson. All right. For those of you. We don't know who C Murder is. He's also known as Corey Miller. He is the brother of Master P. And we're going to get all up in uh, Sis's business. So let's get into this article. So here's beautiful Monica. Y'all, I love Monica. I have been singing Monica's songs because Monica and I are around the same age. I have been singing her songs since I was a kid. And I like Monica because her voice is similar to mine in terms of singing. And I'm not going to sing for y'all today. Sorry. Because you hear how I sound, right? Anyway, Monica spoke out about her breakup with C-Murder just over a month after going public with her new relationship on Instagram. I got my heart broken again, and that's okay. I learned yet another valuable lesson, she wrote, as shared by Gossip of the City. I went through it, got over it, and now I can laugh about it. Monica, I don't know what you're laughing about. But I don't really think there's anything funny about being in a, in a relationship with somebody that's incarcerated for as long as you did. But anyway, that's your business. I'm just getting up into it and being nosy. But what I will say, sis, is that it sounds like you have a book on your hands and that whatever lessons you have learned, you might want to share because you're saying yet again, which means you have made a mistake of this kind before. And apparently you have not learned from your mistakes. Monica clearly, clearly has clearly moved on from the split and she urges everyone to do the same, adding that life continues. I feel great. He has representation to one day be free. Let's move forward. Uh-oh. Okay. So here is what she wrote. Well, here it is in short. I got my heart broken again and that's okay. I learned yet another valuable lesson. I went through it, got over it, and now I can laugh about it. Life continues. Oh, it's the same thing. All right, I feel great that through it, he has representation to one day be free. Mm. Yeah, so Monica says she's moved on after getting her heart broken and people were asking about Seymour because she posted up with her new boo. So she done dumped the jail boo for her new boo. Okay, I am mad at you, Monica. All right, let's um, 
I don't want to have to keep jumping in and out of this. So let me go ahead and do some stuff on StreamYard real quick so I can jump from window to window because I have a lot of windows open. Okay, y'all. So we're going to get into this Essence Magazine article right here. All right, so Monica says that she rekindled moments. This is interesting. Monica says she rekindled romance with incarcerated sea murder. I'm sorry, Monica says rekindled romance with incarcerated sea murder ended in heartbreak. Now I can laugh about it. Apparently after a fan inquired about what happened with the rapper since Monica has a new man in her life, she decided to break her silence. Okay, Monica. All right, y'all, I'm trying to get through this recording, so let's see. All right, here she is looking so beautiful. All right, now. Okay. So since Monica's keeping it real, uh-oh, wait a minute. The computer doing too much. Okay. Oh, well, we went too fast. All right, Monica keeping it real with fans as usual. The singer 43 finally set the record straight, letting them know why she and imprisoned rapper C. Murder are no longer an item. She was recently pictured at Nelly's annual black and white ball in St. Louis with her new beau, leading a fan to ask about the where I'm from MC. The singer responded in a humorous, humorous way, saying, OMG. Ugh. I haven't said his name in two years. Can y'all follow my lead like y'all did when I brought him up? One band, one sound. Okay, sis. I got my heart broken again, and that's okay. We've been through this already. All right, she talking about let's move forward. Okay. Some fans thought it was interesting that Monica managed to get her heart broken by someone who's incarcerated, but it happens. We TV's love after lockup has proven that. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering the same thing. I've only watched a couple of episodes of Life of Love After Lockup, but sis, how do you get your heart broken by someone who's incarcerated? So what he he had um he had a few other pen pals besides you. He had some other women putting money on his books and his commissary. What what what? Listen, Monica, if you happen to make your way to my channel, sis, can you please let us know when you're gonna write your book? You need to write a book. And I really feel like it's God speaking to you, mama. You've been through a lot in the music industry, relationship wise, whatever lessons you learning, can you please share? Okay. Cause I'm sure there's some pretty, you know, some young women out there that would love to hear your story so that they don't make the same mistakes. Okay. But my mama raised me right. <clears throat> you don't, don't, if your man gets locked up, if it's your husband, it's a little different. But if it's your boyfriend, I mean, after, well, okay. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, right? What do y'all think in the comments? If your boyfriend gets locked up and it's clear that he's not getting out anytime soon, do you stay? Do you go? What y'all doing? Okay. So it says the pair rekindled their romance about two years ago, previously dating for some time starting in the 90s. The second time around, Monica publicly professed her love for C murder and advocated for him to be released from prison. He is serving a life sentence for murder. He says he never committed. Oh my God. I didn't know he was serving a life sentence. Monica, baby, what you doing? A life sentence. And you, you in a relationship. I know. That, okay. You know, let me just click on this article right here because another article came up that I wanted to read. 14 years later, our paths crossed, okay? And they're just talking about uh, five times celebrity women fell in love with the men from their past. So let's get into Monica's business right now, okay? Whether she's performing on stage or simply posting on Instagram, singer Monica is always going to show love to present to and represent for rapper Corey Miller, also known as C-Murder. If you haven't been following, the two were an item in the 90s. The New Orleans native, who is the brother of Master P, was sentenced to life in prison in 2009 for the shooting death of a teen, Steve Thomas, at a nightclub in, 20, in 2002. 
but witnesses have since come forward claiming Miller's innocence and allege that they were forced by police to give false information and testify against him. Okay, let me just stop right there. I do understand that police tactics can be very tricky and they can do and say things to cause a person to give a false statement to, and, and I've, I've, I've seen documentaries on this where they grill them and grill them for hours on end without water or food until they just say they did it just because they want to go home. But let me tell you something, me, baby, you ain't never, ever, 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 ever in your life going to get me to say I did something that I didn't do, period. So I'm not really um, understanding about, you know, all this, that the police forced them to give false information. Okay, so you gave false information, but they also coerced you into testifying as well? I don't know. Again, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Okay, what else? What else is here? Since then, there's been a major push to get him released with attorney Benjamin Crump. Joining his legal team, Kim Kardashian got involved with Monica leading the way. Just so you guys know, this article was from August 6, 2022. Okay? So you're talking about almost two years ago. Let's just say a year and a half ago. Monica is always going to show love to and represent for rapper Corey Miller. Well, she's showing love to a new boo now, so I don't know what y'all talking about. Okay? When initially, what initially seemed to have begun as an old friend seeking justice for another has shifted. The two seem to have reconnected romantically. She has performed her song, For You I Will, that's my song, and put his name in it. He's called her his baby and more. Most recently, she visited Miller in prison with photos finding their way online. Well, okay. All right. So... As mentioned, the two were an item when she was young and Monica went on to marry and have beautiful children with ex-boyfriend Rodney Rocco Hill and ex-husband Shannon Brown. Now she's on a mission to see Miller free and the assumption of fans is that they'll be together again. That's at least the impression they got from a recent TikTok of her joking that she fallen in love with the same man for a third time. Sis, I can understand how that can happen. Trust me, I was speaking from experience, okay? I've been young and dumb too. She captioned the clip, but I love it here. If the singer does indeed find her happily ever after with Miller, she wouldn't be the first star to fall in love with an individual from her past. See five of, okay, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna go into the five of the women. I'm just focusing on Monica. So apparently Monica didn't spin the block with this dude or let the, this dude spin the block on her, however you want to look at it. But, um, sis, as I said, it sounds like you have a book, um, potentially, and I, I'm just trying to understand all of this foolishness. Okay. Cause this article has mentioned how many people, uh, your ex-boyfriend and baby daddy, uh, Rocco, your ex-husband, Shannon Brown, uh, C murder, AKA Corey Miller. And then you you with somebody now. Let me see. Excuse me. I'm burping and everything. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see if I can find her new boo. Let me see if I can find her new boo. Oh, is, is this the new boo? Oh, maybe this is the new boo. Okay, Monica says she's moved on after getting her heart broken. And here she is, posted up with her new boo. Okay, well, Miss Monica, baby, I hope it lasts. Um, sometimes it takes a few rela bad relationships to find your way to the right relationship, right? You know, if you live long enough, you're gonna make mistakes. I've made plenty of relationship mistakes, okay? <laughs> so still making mistakes, still learning and growing, all right? But I really do hope that you will tell your truth and your story and share. I think as black women, it's important for us to share our experiences and not just in a cute little Instagram post. I mean, we need, we need a book. We need some tea. We need something to talk about. Okay. So that's pretty much all I wanted to get into today. So this is really going to be a short video. Um, oh, wait a minute. Y'all not seeing what y'all supposed to be seeing? 
Hold up. All right, StreamYard. Hang on one second, guys. I'm talking about her new boo, and y'all can't even see the new boo. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so let's just jump to her new boo. I think this is the right one. Okay. Nope. Okay, hang on a second. That is the wrong page, y'all. Monica is so pretty. I mean, even from the time she was young, just a pretty woman, you know? All right, so... Okay, I found it, y'all. I got it right. I need to get two monitors so that I can see what I'm supposed to be looking at. Because sometimes... Okay, so here is Monica posted up with her new boo. All right, there you go. So you can see it. That's her with her new boo, okay? And if you want to know what I was reading from earlier, I think I saw this earlier. I was reading some of this and some of that. And I just wanted to see who her new boo is because I'm nosy, okay? <laughs> Grown woman vibes. I feel you, sis. Grown woman vibes is the nosiest queen on earth. And I love it. And I am here for it. Sis like me, she get into everybody's business, okay? So if you are new here, I should have said it at the beginning, but I'm not feeling well. I'm not thinking straight. But if you are new here, welcome. We have a lot of new subscribers that have joined the Wisdom's Daughter family, welcome. And if you are returning for a second, third, fourth, or fifth time, you definitely nosy like me and welcome back. <laughs> uh, remember to like this video. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like the video on the way out. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for, king or queen? Go ahead and do it. You know, I don't do casual dating. I can't just be coming looky looing over here. You need to join the Wisdom Daughter family, okay? Just hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling froggy, you can go ahead and hit that bell for notifications anytime I drop a new video or I go live, okay? All right, because sis is getting into all of the YouTube things, okay? So that's pretty much it, y'all. That's, that's, that's all I got. That's all the, the business we're going to get into today. There is another video that I will be dropping soon. I don't know if you guys remember a couple things. I don't know if you remember back on December 2nd, I dropped a video. I think it's the video where the background is red. Oh, y'all y'all really like that video. I was going in. Let me see. It's this one. Let me see if I can pull it up for y'all. Get onto my own channel. Anyway, um, but I talked about Nesto, a video that phone calls from prison had dropped where he was talking about Shirley's and um, Shirley's talking to him about the, the fact that she needs to get a car. And ultimately she, she's really trying to tell him to listen, I'm about to sell your truck. I'm not paying two car notes. And the way he responded was typical Nesto. Okay. And I'm going to do a video where we're going to get into the psychology of Nesto. Okay. Cause this man is something else, but he says some things to her that I'm like, Really? So as a matter of fact, I believe Real Talk Bougie just uh, did a live maybe yesterday sometime where she got into this um, a little bit. I, I um, started watching it. I didn't finish the video because I realized she was covering the same video I'm covering. And um, I typically, if I'm going to do a video, I don't want to watch someone else's video first. So, you know, I, I keep clicking on that same video. I'm like, no, I can't watch. But um, but sis is off the hook. She's off the chain. In real talk, bougie, love, lies, and lace front. She's off the chain. Anyway, um, what am I getting into over here? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Y'all have to forgive me. But I wanted to, okay, let me share my screen probably one last time. Hopefully, I'm not going to make myself out to be a liar saying one last time, one more thing. Okay. So, y'all, I, I, um, hold on. Okay, so it is in this video right here, okay? Sorry about all the noise. You guys really like that video. Anyway, 
it is in that video where I mentioned that there was some stuff I wanted to talk about, about Nesto. So I'm going to drink some tea. I'm going to get better so I can stop sniffling and coughing all up in y'all's ear. Okay. I thank y'all for hanging out with me. Look out for that video. And once I am better, I'm probably going to need about a week, but once I'm better, I told you guys in the short that um, I dropped. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can show this short real quick. Hold on a second. Let me show y'all something real quick. All right. Let's, where is it? And y'all, the channel is growing. We are going to be at a thousand subscribers before you know it, which opens up additional um, YouTube perks and allows me to do even more things and bring you uh, even greater videos. So I'll keep doing what you're doing. And what I would say to you is, if you're listening, tell somebody, just tell one person about Wisdom's Daughter on YouTube. One person. It's I am Wisdom's Daughter. If 766 of y'all tell just one person about my channel, even if half of those people actually subscribe, I'll be at a thousand right there. So uh, if you would not mind, I would greatly appreciate it. So here is the short. I'm just going to play it real quick. All right. Hello, kings and queens. It's Wisdom's Daughter. I just wanted to come on here and thank you guys for helping me top 700 subs. It looks like I will reach a thousand before the year is out. So I'm very excited. And I'm sure you can tell by my voice that this is called a cold. So it's not a cold. It's prayers. COVID. Y'all, I'm upset. I was going to do a live tonight, but I can't. Not sounding like this. But listen, real quick. I found some stuff on Miss Walla, y'all. I found some stuff that nobody has talked about. All right? So listen, when I do this next live, we going to talk about who is Sonya Waller, really? Fact versus fiction. We're going to get all up in sister's business, yep. all right? And we're going to cut straight through the lies. So y'all make sure you subscribe to my channel. Yep. Make sure you hit that bell notification so when I go live, ding, ding. you'll be the first to be notified. And when you come into the chat, go ahead and hit that popcorn emoji, all right? Let me know you're ready for the show. All Hello, right, y'all. So... I've got some tea on Sonia. Sis has been doing her homework and her research. I've been doing some digging into uh, Miss Waller and have found some things. You know, we have a lot of YouTube queens, a lot of YouTube bloggers out here that are reporting on this story and, and very similar stories. So we don't we don't want to keep repeating the same thing. We don't want to keep bringing the same receipts, right? So Sis got nosy, okay? I like getting into people's business now. Right. And so I did some digging and I found some stuff on Sonia and that led me to some other stuff. And it put a lot of things into perspective. OK, because Nesto made a comment and this is all I'm going to give you all right now. OK. Nesto, if you guys remember the video where um, Sonia is talking to Ernesto and she's like, you know, you need to get him to file a motion for a bond hearing. And she's like, I can draw up the motion and all you have to do is file it. And he's like, no, no, I don't want to do that. I just, I want to do everything the legal way. She's like, it's nothing illegal about that. No, no, no. I just, I want to do it right. I just, I, I have to find that video when I do the live, I, I will bring it up so y'all can hear it for yourself. But he is adamant that he does not want her to draw up the motion. He just wants her to talk to his lawyer. He doesn't want her doing any paperwork. And I always found that strange. And I chalked it up to him being a little slow. I've said it before. Nesto is a little slow, but he's not stupid. This man is very smart. Okay. And I know some of you are going to be all up in the comments talking about, no, he's not. No, he's not. He sounds like he's in kindergarten. I know that. But he's very calculated. There's no way he could have committed all these crimes and outsmarted all these people out of their money if he was that damn stupid. Okay. He knows something about Sonia. And I believe I figured out uh, something that, that she doesn't want people to know that led to his reacting in that way. And that's all I'm going to say to y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, hit that like on the way out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's no better time than right now. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and for listening. And remember, be safe. Be at peace and keep your eyes and your ears to these YouTube streets. Bye, y'all.